Well, uh, good morning for having me. Uh, thank you. I'm here, and uh, we'll try to do what we can looking at the facts. It's a little bizarre because this gentleman, Dr. or Professor Freeform Poatin, puts out a report. He, he makes a lot of allegations about individuals living in the powerhouse. And the OSP tells us that he is interested in what is happening. So one would have thought that he would take the report and go after those people who have been mentioned. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden we are told that he or rather becomes the subject of the investigation. And uh, it reminds me of something they used to say, complain that ten accused. <laughs> 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 they said complain and then accused. You know, so uh, it's a little bizarre. Uh, and uh, I don't think he has issued a statement yet telling us the reasons for the arrest. No. But I'm told he is to appear on the news file this morning mm -hmm. uh, on your sister station to give the details. It makes it a little difficult, you know, to discuss it in detail except that you can talk about the general uh, 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 principles surrounding said things. For example, that uh, when a complaint is lodged, uh, the, the suspect can be arrested. Then the, the police will be doing what they call investigations mm. into the matter. Then you could be granted what they call investigation caution statements. Right. And then after the investigations, if they are satisfied that you are somebody who should be charged, mm -hmm. then they will charge you before they ask you to give a charge caution statement. Mm -hmm. So generally, the procedure is not to charge him straight away because from what we have read, it appears that at this stage, then he's doing investigations. Mm -hmm. And there are two types of bail. One bail is given by the investigator and you are asked to give an undertaking that when you are wanted to appear in court, you'll be present. The second is when you appear in court itself, then the judge will grant you bail, giving an undertaking again that you will stand the trial. So in terms of procedure, since he has not issued out any report yet, mm -hmm. My understanding is that then he is doing investigations at this stage mm -hmm. and he's granted him bail to keep coming until he finishes. And then when he decides that he's going to charge him, he would then charge him and ask him to make another statement and then he will put him before court. That, that is, but mm -hmm. I am saying that it's a little bit bizarre because this is somebody who has issued that a statement mm -hmm. warning about the dire consequences of the, what is happening and why the fight against Kalamse appears not you know, to be making headway. And now he is now being investigated. We've read a few on Ghana web and the rest. There are some, he has to account for some vehicles. Mm -hmm. There are some monies were given to him. He has to account that some gold were, was seized and they had to work out. I mean, this is completely, in my view, diversionary. Having regard to the report of what mm -hmm. we are fighting, mm -hmm. do we want to stop Kalamse to save our water bodies and the environment? Now the one who was put there to go and do the investigation is now being investigated about vehicles that were given to him to go and do his work. And maybe some money and... Uh, 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 that he has to account for because we gave you money to go and do the work. He's issued a report, mm -hmm. which meant that as far as he's concerned, he's done his bit. And this is the and result. He said he submitted a report to the president. Of Even course. though he didn't leak it publicly, but well, we, we, we have the details. And he of said he had spoken about it on more than one occasion mm -hmm. at, uh, in cabinet. I mean, Indeed. those of us who have been there before, if there is a need to brief cabinet, you do. And he's telling us, I brief them so they know what is happening. I mean, if, for example, you say that in the course of this, your gallant stop or whatever it is, you seize some 
uh, tractors or uh, sorry, excavators. excavators. And that we can't find the excavators, but investigation show that some of them are in your backyard or something. So, you know, that is something that we can relate to. But the man is telling you that he doesn't even know where the, the, the excavators have gone to. Mm -hmm. And that there are some people who must be held accountable to explain where they Now he becomes a subject. I'm telling you that it's the common thing that they used to say. Complain and turn accused. That's the way I'll put it. <laughs> so, so you describe all of this and what Professor Bob Barton is going through now as bizarre. Very, very. And, and the issues being reported around as diversionary than the, the major issues that we're supposed to be focusing on as we speak. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. it, it is a huge problem if what we are hearing about cocoa exports going to be affected because of the environmental issues. And uh, you rely on cocoa and all these cocoa syndicated loans and what we do with our budget and our economy. If you begin to think about it and then you ask yourself, why are we not tackling the problem? Instead of tackling the problem of Galamse, we are rather holding the man we put in charge to help us. And he, he, the report shows his frustrations, the things that he went through, the support that he couldn't get, mm -hmm. and all that. So if there is a, a, something to be done, why don't we concentrate on the report and the issues he has raised and to see whether we can do a frontal one? I think Ashigbe and the rest will be very disappointed. Because they started this fight and they were thinking that something would come out of it. And now look at it. The complainant has now been arrested, granted bail. Two, is it two million what? Ghana cities. You know, mm -hmm. and you've got to look for property or something to justify and all that. It's, 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 it's bizarre. It's unfortunate. And I just don't, it's diversionary in my view. And mm -hmm. I don't understand what is happening. I don't. To, to mm -hmm. be happening to search a fine gentleman who has done his work, he's issued this report. And your duty is you take the report and we look at it. Instead of looking at the contents of the report, you are now rather looking at him and saying that you were the child. I gave you 300 to buy vehicles. Where are the vehicles? I, 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 some gold were arrested. Uh, some people were arrested, some gold, and we've given... Well, what is this? I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed, to, to say the least.